Okay, we got a uh, new one from me. I went all out and went ahead and built myself a computer to remake of uh, like your old uh, Altar or Mshaw uh, 8080s, but this is uh, using 8085 uh, clocked at uh, 3.072 megahertz. Um, I have my uh, switches for address, high address, low address, data switches. These are just LEDs for uh, output port. Um, and my LCD for my main display. Um, my write and run button reset. Here's a RS-232 output. The speaker. I also put an onboard a uh, small little piezo speaker. Uh, main power and uh, LCD power with uh, power lights, BNC connector for uh, the uh, timer output and uh, a switch that turns on that switch and a volume control I mean it turns on that speaker and a volume control for the speaker um, let's take a look at the board real quick we'll get back here we have uh, let's see you got your processor back here my RAM, my ROM, 8155 controller slash timer, and uh, 8255 I.O. controller. Serial controller, here's a timer, um, and then your different controller chips in here. Even my speaker, like I said, I have a little speaker there plus the big one. Um, and everything wired up to uh, <laughs> make it work. The back of the computer here, you can see the uh, switches. And all the wires, a couple capacitors on board, a little amplifier built on the uh, speaker itself. I bolted it right to it, the little 386, uh, LM386 amplifier. And uh, here's my reset board and uh, power supply board. Here's a uh, analog to digital controller board. I uh, connected to this port so I could disconnect this port and plug in other things like a keyboard or something else just to play with. Um, but right now I have this set up with a temperature sensor, so I wrote a program that'll show the temperature, and uh, so I just bolted that there so I can use that port and show its ability. Um, let's see, let's get around front here and do some work before we run out of time. Um, we'll turn it on. We'll show you the main display here, what it does. Um, this is a nice uh, LCD from moderndevice.com uh, it works very well um, you can see right there that I have my uh, address data this is the actual address that I'm pointing at this is the data that's located in that address and this is the data on my switches my, my switches right here so you see it says 11 if I switch that it'll change and then I can write that into it and program it if I want it and I can change the address just as easy to a different address um, and it'll show the data that's within there I can go to the memory I mean the RAM and uh, I can write a data you see I'm a uh, 31 is the data there's nothing in there I'll push the right button right here and uh, you'll see that now 31 is in data there I can uh, change this to a 01 again press right and it reprograms the new uh, data um, but I loaded some programs in ROM <clears throat> and uh, we'll show you those real quick um, let's see the first one here actually uses the timer it uses the uh, speaker the volume oh these LEDs are flashing right now uh, I have them hooked up to the uh, serial output so every time it outputs a bit to here it also outputs the bit to here so you see they're flying real crazy and this is your stop bit the number eight um, so I, I did that mostly just uh, on the output here so I can see continuous uh, working of the computer it would just be sitting here looking blank if I'm not doing anything and if I go to uh, write something it'll light up what well I actually hit run <laughs> there's run this is a program I wrote for sound um, I turn the speaker on there and I can adjust the volume um, right there it's showing the actual number that you're picking and you're choosing it off of a uh, I believe, yeah, the red one's here and the green one's here. You're, you're doing a 16-bit number. And I, I programmed the red ones as the high address. So if I pick a new address and then I hit right, it changes the sound. 
and it tells you what number. And I can plug it into here to my oscilloscope, my frequency counter, and see the exact frequency it is. Set to start the computer back over, running low on time. We got about five minutes. The reset will take a second to reset the computer. So 8085, which I did program that, and then uh, start the computer again. The other program I want to show you is the temperature program. It's at a uh, 50. You see the address changing. I can bring it all the way down to zero. I'll flip this switch here. Flip that switch there, and I'll flip this switch here. Now it says 60, that's too many, so I'll flip the switch on the other side, there's 50. This is my temperature program I wrote. I hit run, so it degrees, and it shows the temperature. If I reach back here, I showed you that temperature sensor is, it's back here on the table. And if I put my hand on it, it'll take it a second, but it'll, it'll go up. And I'll also have it in binary, so that you can see it in binary going up. Like I said, that LCD is really what made this computer nice um, compared to this staring at some uh, LEDs or something like that or only being able to output your serial to a regular computer this LCD uh, really really helped um, it was very easy to use and very affordable you can get you one off of eBay pretty cheap um, and the guy that made it um, he actually uh, he made this controller board back here and uh, it is a beautiful little controller board. It does all the work for me. Um, modern device, moderndevice.com. You can barely see it right there. Moderndevice.com. Um, he programmed this chip, and he he can actually sell you um, the whole LCD or the board um, by itself if you just need that. And it'll turn your parallel LCD into serial. And it's very easy to uh, control. It's very easy to write programs with, and it made all this uh, possible. So I really uh, want to make sure I stress, you know, the uh, the quality of this LCD. You know how easy it was to uh, program big letters like this, and to uh, have the smaller ones still here on the same screen. Um, very easy to use. Uh, like it a lot. Um, that's basically my whole computer. Um, I've written other programs on it, but they're not as fun. I'll do a few games or something here and there, and try to get something uh, uh, more worthy of its. Um, capabilities I hit the reset real quick and let it restart one more time I like that 8085 real big starts to flash starts to the main operating system right here where you're ready to uh, start writing programs and running programs uh, I obviously did make the beep beep for the uh, try to imitate the original computers you know just for fun I will also say that uh, this is the same book I've been tearing into it's falling apart now but um, this book has definitely um, made this possible with uh, for me to understand. Um, it doesn't exactly tell you how to build this computer, but it gives you the, the, the different parts of the uh, operating system and, and, and teaches you how to write the program. And uh, you're going to have to apply the program to your own circuits, you know, uh, so that you have to implement the codes, the different codes, into your circuit and make sure it all matches. Um, so it doesn't actually give you the full circuit for this system or something like that, but it, it gives you enough that you can understand and you can build a, a, this system. Um, I'll go ahead and show you phase two. Ooh, let's get it up here. <laughs> I've already started on another one. Um, this one's going to be better. It's harder to see right now because I don't have the covering, but it's counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I just did this for a test program. I got a non volatile uh, uh, 32K RAM. Here's my ROM. Um, my processor, and this one's actually running a little faster, uh, 8.064 divided in half for your clock frequency gives you uh, 4.032 megahertz for this one. And uh, the the main thing I didn't do on this over here is I, I tied up all the ports. This one here, I have all the ports where I can get to them, and you know I have more board on the back, you know, so it's going to be a lot lot better. We'll make another video when this one's done. I uh, hope you uh, like my video and appreciate your time.